uh, I'm a personal trainer. Um, I'm kind of known as, I, I don't like to say it, but as a celebrity trainer. Um, I've been Chris Hemsworth's personal trainer for like four or 12 years now. So I've worked in the film industry, trained some other actors, but mainly with Chris. Um, I've, been, I've trained Kate Blanchett a few times for a few films. Um, yeah, I've trained um, Taika with TD, the director of Thor. Um, but yeah, mainly Chris. We went to Panama. Um, and the treatment center was at the top of um, like this hotel. So there's a big hotel, you can stay there. They had a really nice gym. We actually, when we got there, we actually trained. Um, I remember there's a good gym facility there and then it's, it's everything safe. Yeah, you don't have to leave the hotel, which is really cool. So we went up to the top floor, you get these really nice views. It's, kind of, it's, a, it's a bit bougie, it's really nice. And you sit there and overlook Panama and I'm actually, I really don't enjoy needles. I'm a bit, I'm a bit of a, a wuss with needles, but um, there's literally just like an IV in your arm. The treatment was over in, it was pretty quick, like 10 or 15 minutes. And then you're, you're in and out and you then go down and just relax and chill out in the hotel. Um, and from what I was told, you don't obviously want to train too hard and create inflammation because the cells are going to go through your body and do their thing. So it was kind of just like, I think I did some light walking on the treadmill, but I wasn't going and doing any heavy weight sessions or anything while I was getting these treatments. And we were there for three days and just got an IV every day and just kind of chilled out in Panama. It was pretty cool. I sat down, we sat down with the doctors. We asked every questions that we had. Everyone was really good there. And they were, they were, they were very accommodating and really nice and made me feel comfortable. It was a really good experience. I've raced in this race. It's it's grown pretty big now. It's called High Rocks. And for anyone who doesn't know what that is, it's it's almost like CrossFit in a way where you run a kilometre and then you do go into a functional station. So there's eight uh, one kilometre runs followed by eight individual stations, a thousand metre ski erg, a sled push, a sled pull, Bur burpee broad Burpee broad jumps for like 100 metres, a thousand metre row, uh, farmers carry, uh, weighted lunges, and 100 wall balls. But this is in between running a kilometre in between it. And then this year I did an hour and eight minutes and I won my heat. I had a good friend of mine who's only 26 and he's pretty competitive with me. He's a, he's a personal trainer too. He's um, I got him a job actually training Zac Efron a while ago. So he's trained Zac Efron and he's a PT as well. And we're pretty competitive. and. We did the race together, and I and I passed him in the, on the lunges, and I just I meant he was devastated. <laughs> I'd just previously randomly been diagnosed with pericarditis. Um, I, I train a lot. I'm a, you know I'm a, I'm training every day with people, and I train a lot myself. Whenever I was doing like high threshold stuff, like with cardio, my heart would beat hard, and I think it kind of freaked me out a bit. What you have is inflammation. And that's exactly what these stem cells do. So, soon as I got, uh, maybe maybe a month after the treatment, it was all gone. It was all cleared up. I was pretty impressed. So, no, um, there was no traces of yeah, no traces of pericarditis. Everything was all good. And then I just started training hard again and going for it. So everything's all good now. I've got no excuses. <laughs> I'm healed.